Okay. So. I was just scrolling through Twitter. Like I like I always do. I saw this trending that says Toronto is in Canada. And you know what this leads up to? Yeah, it leads up to Laura Ingram, who tweeted this, which which says here, will Joe Biden do more to, to protect religious liberty than Donald Trump? Not a prayer. As if she thinks that the city of Toronto is in the United States. She uses Joe Biden as if he were to be a Canadian citizen. And she also used Trump's name as if he were to be a Canadian citizen. I don't know what I don't know what her deal is by not being re-educated, but it seems that everybody that tweeted to Laura Ingram actually understands that the city of Toronto is in Canada. I mean, seriously. I know that some people have the right the right idea, like this guy, who says first, Toronto is in Canada. Exactly. Second, Joe Biden is a long lifelong practicing Catholic. I think he's better off Christian, a better Christian than you, even though you were cross around your neck on TV for political impact. Fashion purposes. Knock it off, Laura. I don't even think God even likes you. I mean, this. This tweet that she made is a, is the result of her failed knowledge in, in life. I mean, even some people have to tweet at her the correct way because she doesn't know shit about Toronto, Ontario, Canada and the United States. First of all, yes, the United States of America has a capital city of their own called Washington, D.C. In Canada, they have a capital city city of their own called Toronto. The United States does not have a capital city in Toronto. And Canada does not have a capital city called Washington, D.C. There. I hope Laura Ingram will understand and redo her research a little bit more.